Last night, the College Democrats hosted two speakers to talk about their experiences as gay men in the Army and the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy. Along with a question and answer discussion, there was also a screening of the PBS documentary called Ask Not, in which both speakers were featured. It's a very lonely existence to be in constant fear of someone finding out. It's really bad because you can't go to chaplains, you can't go to psychologists, you can't go to psychiatrists, you can't um, technically talk to any of your friends. Because technically anyone you tell you're gay can help you and have you discharged. The struggle for LGBT rights is um, definitely one of the biggest civil rights issues in our country um, today and it's absolutely the biggest civil rights issue for, for our generation. So I think it's really important to inform students, inform young people about the issues that LGBT people face. We screen, I've, I've been doing the Don't Ask Until Active for the past four years. And the first two years of that was filmed by documentarian John E. Simon. He put it in his documentary, Ask Not, as part of a comprehensive look at Don't Ask Until Active. It's a very effective way to mobilize grassroots to bring awareness to the issue, we feel. So, um, Whenever there's a screen, we like to come and kind of supplement it with our own uh, internal perspective. Because there's, there's questions afterwards. I mean, it's, you only say so much if you do two minutes, right? And then it, it, it's kind of an introduction to the policy, like why it's a big deal and what the reality is. And we kind of come in there and provide some of the answers and point people in the right direction where they can find out more and how they can do it. Knowledge can never be a bad thing. Um, you know, learning more about this issue and being able to advocate for this issue, you know, if it this, you know, something about um, LGBT people being in the military comes up in a conversation in your dorm room, you can say, hey, you know, I know a little bit about that, and that's why this is wrong, that's why it should be banned. There's so much more that it really encompasses that we don't hear about a lot, and I think that's, you know, that was sort of, at 19 years old when I enlisted, that was sort of my experience. I mean, I thought, you know, it, I mean, I didn't know that much about it, but I thought, hey, don't ask, don't tell. You know, they won't ask me, I won't tell anybody, you know, nobody will find out. Um, I'm not going to, you know, be throwing pride parades on the base and, you know, wearing a bow around, so, you know, everything will be fine. You know, I sort of came to realize in my experience um, that it's a lot more than don't ask, don't tell. It's more like, you know, don't ask, don't tell. Don't happen to be found out any time, any place, in any way. I think don't ask, uh, don't tell is a policy that discriminates against many people, and that should be repealed. People should, you know, have their say, and I think we should educate people in, in what the policy is. It's really important for people not in the military or not involved or not gay to learn about it because that's the only way change can happen.